Hey guys, it's Nathan from the Kentucky Cycling YouTube channel. Uh, we're in Moorhead, Kentucky today, down at the Cave Run Lake Ranger Station. I uh, got a call from my buddy Lucas, who uh, wanted to come do a mountain bike ride down here, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to take you all along for the adventure. This is a very popular loop, so we're going to start at the Ranger Station, head down the road a spell, pick up a fire road, uh, and go up to the top of the mountain and ride this loop counterclockwise and I'll include a link to our Strava ride uh, in the YouTube description below. Really looking forward to it. <laughs> over three miles down the road and we're passing the Twin Knobs recreation area entrance to give you some idea of how long you might have on a and then the road we're going to turn to is right on the left across from Twin Knobs and now we start up a fire road now oh, this is interesting haven't encountered this before good thing we're on mountain bikes I guess that must have washed out through there. This is super beautiful. Wow, this is uh, this is, <laughs> this is pretty washed out up here. Yeah, they We're about oh. half a mile up the road, and I cannot believe how washed out this is. This is not what I would expect to find. Nope which might explain why they left that big heap of gravel so people don't drive up here. Man. work going on they're almost two miles up the road here seeing another big pile of gravel Almost missed the turn. So we're taking this left here. Lucas, do you know how much longer that gravel road goes on for? So if someone was coming out here and just wanted to get a little gra short gravel riding in, let's see, we've come almost five miles up the gravel. So somebody could easily get 10 plus as an out and back. More. Yeah, so we're still on gravel this way. There's gravel the other way. So you could easily just get a gravel ride out here. Starting from Twin Knobs boat ramp parking lot. Wow. Alright, so we're right about five miles in and here's a little connection for, I always say Sheltoe, but yeah, I believe it's more pr accurately pronounced Sheltoe Trace. Lucas? Yeah. This is one of your favorite places to ride. Can you speak to why? I like that it's bigger than what you can find near Lexington. 
Uh, there's a lot of uh, chunky riding, big up and down, uh, challenging climbs. And there's also, once you reach the top, there's a lot of uh, flat and uh, flowy, windy riding on the fingers. So it's kind of got everything. You can make it as hard or as uh, easy as you want. We're definitely going in the easier direction to climb up the fire road. If you ride it clockwise, you start out from the ranger station with a pretty intense climb. So those of you more accomplished folks can have some fun. about 9.3 miles in to our ride about uh, six a little silver six miles uh, into what would be the gravel road and there's a little split here looks says a lot of people I guess when that road is passable just drive up to this point you can see there's a big area here when the road is passable and you can just park here so there's a branch here where you get sort of like a lesser maintained road going to the left and single track going to the right and we're gonna go to the right Rocky descent through here with some sand. Trap garden. More rock garden. And some more rock garden. Ooh. Sign. Rocky, rocky, rocky. A little man made rock garden there. This is a fun section, if I recall.
one thing that's cool about these fingers is that they keep connecting to the road. So Lucas is heading off to do another finger. So if you're riding with people of maybe their uh, energy levels or different points, or their skill levels or different points, one person could take the road like I'm doing and the other person could be off on the single track and meet up at the next section and decide whether or not they want to ride together or separate. So I think it's pretty cool that way because it sort of keeps meeting up with this road, keeps meeting up with this road and gives you lots of different options. And there he is again. And meet up with the next finger. So there's these little connector trails on the side, fingers, all kinds of cool stuff. rocky loose gravel descent kind of coming away from the fingers on the main path now oh. past all the fingers definitely more technical through here Woo. and this next section has a lot of short punchy climbs so it's the kind of thing maybe not so short <laughs> kind of thing that you want to try to get momentum but this is uh, too loose and rocky for my ability and there's a lot of these it goes down and up and down and up This is a good fitness check. This is hard for me right now. Whew. All right guys, so we are at a cool little intersection. We're about 16 miles in, and this says Cave Run Dam, four miles, so I think we're gonna probably get about a 20 mile loop in all. This is uh, heading north back towards the dam. There's Lucas getting ready to enjoy a snack with the direction we came from. And if you're really looking for some adventure, you can go down this trail, which descends a few hundred feet uh, down into a valley. And there's a cool swinging bridge down there. And then you can enjoy the climb back up. This guy used to do that all the time, but we're not going to do it today.
And as always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.